This is a perpetual motion device, but it's important to put perpetual motion in inverted commas because perpetual motion doesn't exist. To figure out how this works, we really need to look inside. Without the device turned on, you can see the losses due to friction. When the device is turned on, the ball must be given some additional kinetic energy at some point. And the only thing I can think of is electromagnets. That's what you see here. But once it reaches the electromagnet, it'll be harder to leave. This is what happens when I put a permanent magnet in place of the electromagnet. So the electromagnet needs to be on during the approach and then off once the ball reaches the magnet. That's where this component comes in, an inductive proximity sensor. So now we can have the electromagnet turn on when the ball gets to a certain position. We can then decide how long do we want the magnet to be turned on for. These two components allow you to adjust how long the electromagnet is on for. These are important because each one of these devices is handmade. So you need to be able to fine tune these things 